Thank you for staying with us on the newsroom. The Federal High Court in Abuja has fixed Thursday, June 14, to deliver judgment in a suit seeking the disqualification of Governor Adigboega Oyitola of Osho State as the All Progressives Congress APC candidate in the July 16 governorship election. Justice Inyangekwo fixed the date on Wednesday after counsel for the parties adopted their processes and presented their arguments in the matter. The plaintiff in the suit and the chieftain of the APC, Moshud Adioti, one of the aspirants who lost the APC governorship ticket to Governor Uyetola in the party's primary held on February 19, had filed the matter through his legal team led by a senior advocate of Nigeria, Chiesono Okpoko. In the originating summons, Adioti prayed the court to nullify Uyetola's candidacy on the grounds that the governor contested in the poll as a member of the party's caretaker extraordinary and convention planning committee. The People's Democratic Party PDP in Oshun State has said the absence of President Mohamed Buhari at the re-election rally of Governor Adigboega Uyetola held in Oshogbo on Tuesday signaled his disapproval of any attempt to rig the Saturday governorship election. In a letter signed by the PDP caretaker chairman Akindele Adekunle, the party also condemned Governor Uyetola for his assertion that he would not hand over power even before the election is held. Members called on the security agencies to take on the signal and reject unlawful directive to rake Saturday's poll. The Albino Foundation has disclosed that efforts are ongoing to ensure that at the end of registration exercise by the Independent National Electoral, Electoral Commission, INEC, at least 3 million physically challenged persons must have been documented for the 2023 general elections. Founder of the group, Jake Epele, explained that they are engaging INEC, the National Disability Commission, and relevant corporate bodies to mobilize physically challenged groups to use the extension of the registration exercise for their participation in the next elections in the country. An analysis of COVID-19 cases obtained from the Nigeria Center for Disease Control, NCDC, has revealed a sharp rise of 324% in the number of COVID-19 cases reported in the country within one month. The NDC, NCDC, in a public health advisory released ahead of the salad break, had notified Nigerians of the possibility of a fifth wave of the pandemic. So far, a total of 2,000 and 258,874 258, positive cases have been reported in Nigeria since the beginning of the pandemic in 2020. Protesters in Sri Lanka have defied tear gas, water cannons and a state of emergency to storm the Prime Minister's office on Wednesday after the President, Gotabaya Rajapaksa, fled overseas as the crowd demanded both men to step down in the face of an economic crisis. The President had promised at the weekend to resign on Wednesday after escaping his own official residence in Colombo. Rajapaksa, who enjoys immunity from arrest, is believed to have planned his escape abroad before stepping down to avoid the possibility of being detained. The Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, has reiterated its commitment to boost wheat production locally by supporting farmers with input, technical know-how and off-taking arrangements with the Flour Millers Association of Nigeria. According to the Coordinator Monitoring and Evaluation, CBN Anchor Pro Anchor Borrowers Program on Wheat Production, Uluwashino Olabanji, initiatives to increase wheat production are yielding results and made the rising price of the produce following the crisis in Ukraine and disruption of international supply chains. Brazil winger Rafinha is set to sign for Barcelona from Leeds after the clubs agreed to the deal in principle on Wednesday. The 25-year-old will cost the Catalans a reported 55 million euros with a potential 15 million euros in add-ons and sign a five-year contract. Barca's agreement with Leeds comes following weeks of negotiations with the Premier League side pushing for a similar deal with Chelsea worth in excess of 70 million euros. That's it on the newsroom. Many thanks for watching. I am Sinisola Adikun.